Hello, before we get into this video, I'd like to do a prologue, if you'll allow me to call it that. So Manchester has got three main rivers, the River Irwell, the River Irk and the River Medlock. And in this video, we're concerned about the River Medlock and one of its tributaries, the River Tib. Now we've covered the River Tib before in a couple of my videos. Uh, it's a river, a small river that I've got a fascination with and will continue to have a fascination with. So I'll be brief. The River Tib starts about one mile outside Manchester city centre to the north around about the Oldham Road area. Indeed, it runs down the side of Oldham Road. Um, it starts um, just near these uh, old railway arches. Roughly around there it starts, these disused old railway arches. And it's driven by a spring, a small spring. Now it used to be a stream that ran in the open. And there are times where after rainfall, it's got quite a fast flow on it. But during dry periods, it almost runs like stagnant. It dries up almost completely. There's an idyllic picture or a drawing that I found of the River Tib at the bottom of Oldham Road. You can see it just to the left in this picture with the, uh, the ducks. Uh, it all looks quite wonderful. But like a lot of these tiny little streams and rivers that found themselves in city centres, they, they were in the way and they got buried and culverted. And Manchester's River Tib, I call it a river, like I say, it's more like a stream. But the River Tib has not been seen running open for around about 200 years. Now, it runs through the city centre and there are hints to its existence. A few of these hints I've uh, covered in a few of my videos. So, of course, you've got Tib Street. There are writings that say that some of the older dwellings along Tib Street when you used to go in the cellars, sometimes you could hear the rush of water. And some of those dwellings had grates inside where you could open up and look down into the Tib. I think those properties are long since gone. But quite often when there's been roadworks, the River Tib has been mistaken for a sewer. That's how small the culvert is that carries it through the city centre. Of course, clues everywhere, Tib Street. And as the Tib runs down Mosley Street, it runs underneath the dining room of the Midland Hotel, apparently. And it runs onwards down Lower Mosley Street towards the River Medlock. Now we know it runs underneath the Rochdale Canal because we've got that telltale sign of the little arrow that marks where the trap door is so that they can drain the Rochdale Canal into the river tip that runs beneath. And finally, not far from the Rochdale Canal, underneath the home cinema complex near Whitworth Street, the Tib finally meets the Medlock. Now where the River Tib finally enters the River Medlock is a, in a godforsaken culvert, a deep dark culvert on the Medlock where the River Tib finally enters into the River Medlock. So even when it emerges, you still can't see it because it's all hidden away underground. I've done a series of videos on the River Medlock and you can check them out on my channel. And in River Medlock episode 9, we found where the River Tib entered the River Medlock. But therein lies the problem. So we need to go back to that culvert on the River Medlock. And I suppose this should be called River Medlock episode 9A correction. So, without further ado, let's get into this video, Looking for Lost Rivers.
my name is Martin welcome back to another video so it's a gorgeous <laughs> it's a gorgeous August day and as you will see I'm in the middle of a river but which river well it's the river Medlock as you've probably guessed by now from the music and I've been in this section before so pray tell Martin why are you back in a section that you've been to before I've got something to tell you something to share with you allow me to explain think about this bit of the medlock is uh, it's really difficult because uh, just bricks and stones everywhere that's what you're walking on so although it's only shallow although there are little deep pools it's just really difficult to walk on I remember this from last year and of course we're approaching from the other way I'm going I'm actually going upstream but uh, I head up there where the trees are is the cove that we're going to enter to uh, go and take a look we're about to enter there now we've been here before like I say in the river medlock episode 9 where we um, found the river Tib and therein lies the problem because if you remember I approached that oval culvert I'll show you some clips of it now and I said behold the river Tib we have found it Ladies and gentlemen, I got it wrong. That apparently wasn't the River Tib. So this is a throwback to July 2019 where I found that oval culvert and I thought it was the River Tib entering into the River Medlock. And of course, I went off the best information I had, but unfortunately it was wrong. That culvert you're looking at, I'm just about to climb into, um, just carries surface rainwater back into the river Medlock. Um, so it's a kind of a, a rainwater sewer drain, if you like. And if you went along there, it wouldn't take you to the underside of the trap door, because I know a few people wanted me to go inside there and walk to the underneath of the trap door, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't get you there. It is not the River Tib. And unfortunately, I got it wrong. The information was wrong. So let's get back to our video and put this right. Now, four people messaged me and said, you got it wrong, mate. Two of them were not very nice and two of them were very supportive. And to those supportive people, I thank you. And they've told me exactly where to find the River Tib. So we're back in the river. I have to pay my forfeit and I have to put it right. And I have to show you the actual River Tib. It's in there, in that dark hellhole that we're about to go in. I'm with James today, he's behind the camera. <laughs> so I really don't fancy it again I really didn't want to come back to these culverts and I've managed to drop in in the river Medlock at a really convenient place so I didn't have to come through those culverts but we're gonna to have to go in there and apparently on the right hand side is the actual outlet of the river tip that we missed last time that I probably walked past so thank you to my mate his name begins with N I really appreciate it you were very supportive and you told me exactly where I should find it, even though I'm still not sure. So, we're gonna head on in there and see if we can find you the actual outlet of Manchester's Lost River Tib, where it joins the River Medlock.
when you walk down these rivers, it's always interesting because you see the old bridges, the long forgotten bridges. That would have been a standalone bridge at one point, but you can see the road either side has been widened. So you'll see how it, the other bridge butts up to it. And as we enter further, we're now going underneath the home cinema complex. So uh, where you'll just see beyond the bridge there, the metal roof uh, above there is the home cinema complex where people are sat eating and drinking and having cups of tea and all sorts of things and we're down here in this godforsaken hellhole. Right, just keep walking up on the sandbanks. Right, you, you come, let me go over there, because yeah. you're casting a shadow. I think it's there. Right, stand there, stand at the side of me. Right, just take your time. This was kind of new territory for James. Uh, the last time he came out with us, we were in a, that, the old, the drain. Well, this was very different, and uh, I think he didn't have the stomach for it, to be honest with you because um, it goes quite deep in places and we had to avoid those deep bits. Yeah. We ended up going over towards the sandbank in the end. Watch it, you watch it all sinking on this now. Oh. It can be sinky sand sometimes. Is it? It can be, yeah. <laughs> so I knew it was just just inside the culvert on the left hand side on this wall but it how far in was the difficult bit um, so we had to go like I say over the sandbanks and I'm thinking where is it where is it it's a long gear somewhere and as per usual it was a spider filled hell hole the entire wall was covered in spiders webs that had an absolute field day. We didn't investigate it, we just looked and moved on and respected the spiders' homes. But that's where we are. Pretty cool. So like I say, James is here. I've got to thank him for accompanying me into this hell hole. He didn't know what he was coming into today. And I've just said we could walk all the way down, down here. He went, hmm. <laughs> and I don't think we've got the stomach for it today. <laughs> anyway. You'll see we're not far from the entrance and I think the River Tib, you know, this, this outlet that we're going to, let's get those out of shadow there. I think this outlet that we're looking for is, I don't think it's that impressive. <coughs> so let's take a look. I believe it's just round the corner in this culvert. Let's take a look, see what we can see, uh, see if we can find it. But it's got to be done, and it? For this Medlock series, I've got to be accurate. I've got to get it done. So. Uh, You'll be one of the few Mancunians that's seen this. Yeah. <laughs> excited. Yeah, let's go for it. Don't be too excited. <laughs> and the thing is, when you're walking all, all this shit, you're disturbing years of buried pollution. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Isn't that good? Yeah. Well, yeah. There it is, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it James, that's it, that's it, that's what we're going to see. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, the outlet of the River Tib into the River Medlock. This is it. I got it wrong last time. And the annoying thing is that oval culvert is just down there in that back there down this, this big culvert. We would have walked past this and didn't even realize. And it was uh, obviously it was just over a year ago and I got the message that I'd got it wrong. So I've come back, like I say today, to find this thing. Unfortunately, it's not as impressive. Just a little arch with a big, what looks like, 
plastic pipe sticking out of it. But that is the outlet of the River Tib into the River Medlock. We've finally found the Holy Grail. It would have been much nicer if this wouldn't have been um, bricked up, obviously, but you can see it's been a, a nice little, at one time it's had a little moment, hasn't it, of an arch and some old stone, but unfortunately now it's been reduced to a plastic pipe. But uh, <laughs> I had to put it right. I had to come back in and I'll show you the actual outlet. So obviously a dry period. This is how the River Tib is. It can be fast flowing after loads of rain, but at the moment, as you can see, nothing going whatsoever. And unfortunately, this rather unpretty bricked up arch with a plastic pipe in the middle is what we've been looking for. It would have looked quite nice, I think, at one time before they bricked it up, but that's what we're left with. Now for me, the River Tib is legendary, but it's good to know that we're walking in the footsteps of legends because from the archives, is that Frank side bottom in the Medlock visiting the outlet of the River Tib? I think it is. I think he's probably been diverted on a shopping trip for his mum all the way out in Timperley and he's ended up here at the River Tib outlet. Let's just try and get a closer look and confirm that that is Frank Sidebottom at the, uh, the River Tib outfall. If it is, I'm chuffed because he's another Mancunian legend just like the River Tib. There you go, James. River Tib. Not many, not many Mancunians have seen that, mate. But it's so tucked away in that culvert, uh, just underneath City Road in the centre of Manchester, near the home cinema complex. We're underneath there, if you know where that is. And it was also, before it was home, it was uh, the Gaythorn Gas Works. That what it, that's what it uh, used to be above there. So as you're walking in there, it was all really like mucky okay. and muddy. and Dark. You didn't like that, did you? No. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, not ideal in there so there you go only a short journey because my mate told me a nice little way that we can dip into the medlock because this thing this river is like um it's cavernous but with buildings either side and it's so difficult to get in in the city center so my mate and you know who you are thank you told me of a good way to get in uh, where we can drop in just near the tip um do you want to go and have a look at the siphon what's the siphon exactly what's the siphon he said so you've seen this before but we'll go around the corner now and I'll show James the siphon. Uh, it's not a true siphon, but it's where the River Medlock disappears underground. Like I say, you've seen it before, but we might as well go and take a look at it while we're here. So I don't you remember as we just come round from Knock Mill down there, um, this old wall here is, um, well, the base of what was Knock Mill Ironworks. I think we researched that on River Medlock episode 10, I think, I'm not sure. Uh, but you'll see the, all the old arches in the wall and all the bricks missing. And it's incredible now because the building up there, you see that glass, that wall up there, they're building a nice sitting area where folk can come out and sit and look over the Medlock. So finally, they're actually starting to celebrate the rivers, finally. Um, and there'll be people that live in them big blocks there. Can you see? There'll be people that live in those blocks and work in those blocks that will probably come down and have the coffee uh, and sit behind this area here, this sitting area. 
and peer over into the medlock but it's so wonderful to be down here because yeah, not many people actually ever get to come down here and we're on a revisit So, the siphon, now it's very odd because at the moment, and I'll show you, they're building um, a ramp access for vehicles down to the Medlock. I think it's for maintenance purposes. Well, they've took away all the old um, workings of the sluice gates that were here for the siphon for the uh, where the Medlock runs underground on the castle field. So you could literally slide straight down there. I don't know if you remember last time when me and Charlie came, um, this was all the old workings of the sluice gates and everything and they've chopped it all away. I'm not sure that I'm completely happy with that to be honest with you. But uh, it's actually very impressive that you can now see where the medlock drops underground. Which I've shown you before but the medlock drops underground now and goes underneath Castlefield. Built in the early 1800s because they were tired of the Medlock bringing in uh, filthy polluted water into Castlefield Basin and to the canals. Great idea to build, feed the canals with the river but obviously when it started there was discharges from factories further upstream making the Medlock black and polluted and um, they sent it underground there like, like it is now. So we'll have a look at some of the changes here, there's all workmen around and everything, they're not bothered us so far. but. Uh, they're building that sitting area for the new big flats and they're building, like I say, ramp access. Um, a bit sad that they took away the, uh, the sluice gates, to be honest with you. But at the same time, it's now opened up and for you it's great because you can see what's going on. Yeah. So I got it wrong and I'm sorry about that, I'm sorry I got it wrong and I told you the wrong place of the River Tib but I've come in back to the Medlock and I've put it right and when you get things wrong sometimes you end up with egg on your face. Um, so there this you go. This is an egg custard. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely got egg on my face. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll try not to get things wrong again. <laughs> anyway, I've tried to put it right. Roll on. <laughs> Roll on, episode um, um, 11 of the River Medlock series. I hope you enjoyed this little trek down to the uh, River Tib. Sorry I got it wrong last time. <laughs> um, thanks very much for watching. Take care, and I shall see you very soon in the next video. Bye for now. See you, is it nice? Yeah, it's nice, really nice. Nice that, you know. <laughs>